Hey guys, it's Travis, and the Rogue One A Star Wars Story trailer just dropped, so let's just skip with the formalities and just get right to the trailer. So here's what we knew before. It's a heist movie, and the Rebels need to steal the plans for the Death Star to blow it up in A New Hope, because that hasn't happened yet. Now let's talk about the trailer itself, including the fact that there are no lightsabers in a Star Wars trailer, which is kind of weird, actually, if you think about it. The look and the feel of the environments connect so well to that of the original trilogy. The Yavin 4 base looks perfectly recreated. All right, so we have Jin Erso, criminal background. She rebels. She also messes with the Imperials a bit. Mon Mothma makes an appearance in 3, and she looks amazing. It's actually the same actress that played Mon Mothma in Star Wars Episode 3. What, you don't remember Mon Mothma in Star Wars Episode 3? That's because that scene was deleted, and she got her roll back in this movie, and it's gonna be really hard to delete her this time. So yeah! The laser is installed on the Death Star, and it's an ominously breathtaking shot with a couple Star Destroyers nearby to show just how big this massive Death Star weapon is. Forrest Whitaker shows up and gives a monologue. Apparently his character is a bounty hunter of sorts. There are some all-black stormtroopers, which could be shadow troopers, but they more so remind me of the dark troopers from the Dark Forces video game. You remember that video game? Great video game. And then there's a space samurai, because why not? I guess if they couldn't have lightsaber they at least have samurais or something? I don't, know. I don't know. There's a black cloaked figure in a room with the Emperor's Royal Guards, but it has a hood, so I'm pretty sure that this isn't Darth Vader, although Darth Vader is supposed to be in this movie somewhere. And finally, there's a shot of Urso in what looks like TIE Fighter gear while the words, what will you become, are said, but I don't think it's really as ominous as the trailer is making it seem. This could either be before she defects from the Empire, or, you know, it's a heist movie, maybe she's just taking a TIE fighter for a spin. What's interesting about this trailer is that there's an incredible amount of action without giving away a lot of the story. And if you notice, in a lot of the scenes, most of these characters are by themselves or with very few people. So it's kind of hard to see how they're going to work together in the film. But what we do know is that many Bothans will die to bring... No, they won't. They won't die. Because that's the second Death Star. I'm getting really sick and tired of seeing all these people, oh, Bothans are gonna die in Rogue One. No, they're not. My big complaint with this whole story is that Kyle Katarn is not a part of it. Kyle Katarn was actually introduced in the Dark Forces video game that I mentioned earlier back in 1995. I think I actually have a copy of it, so, oh, here it is. Kyle Katarn was an extended universe character, which means that he's technically no longer canon. But he was an important part in stealing the Death Star plans, which happened in this game. That was his first mission with the Alliance. Come on, Disney. I have a few favorite extended universe characters. Mara Jade, Grand Admiral Thrawn, and Kyle Katarn. In the trailer, Diego Luna is playing a scruffy looking sort of Han Solo swagger-esque character. And here's the thing. He doesn't have a name yet. I know this is gonna seem like a bit of a stretch, but hear me out. In the extended universe, Kyle Katarn teams up with Jan Ors, a double agent working for the Rebellion. Jan Ors sounds similar to Jin Erso. Hmm. Jan and Jin both have ties to the Empire. Jan in the EU is a double agent, and Jin in the trailer seems to have her cover blown. So the game Dark Forces begins with Kyle being recruited by the Rebel Alliance to steal the plans of the Death Star. And what does the Rebel Alliance want to do in Rogue One? Steal the plans of the Death Star. So later in the game, Kyle and Jan investigate the Imperial Dark Trooper project. The Dark Troopers are Black Stormtroopers, like in the trailer. I'm now getting word that the scruffy looking character's name may be Kazian Willix or Kazian Willix, Kate, Cajun Willix, I don't know. Kyle Katarn sounds much cooler. Kyle Katarn, come on. Come on, Disney. All fan theories aside, even if Kyle Katarn has nothing to do with this movie, the trailer makes the movie look amazing, actually. I was really worried going in because I'm a fan of all things Star Wars, but I've not ever seen, nobody's ever seen a Star Wars movie where they don't use the Force or have a lightsaber battle or anything like that. So it was just strange to think that Disney was going in this direction. I mean, it's it's an interesting story, but like we all know how it's going to end, so they have to make the plot really interesting. But with all of the action that they're showing and all of the ties to the original trilogy, all the things that I saw in the trailer are making me more excited, super excited that they're going to keep pumping out great, amazing Star Wars films and what a time to be alive, as they say. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the new Star Wars trailer. And as always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me soon.
I think I actually have a copy. Oh wait, here it is. So, oh, here it is. Oh, it's right here. 